Good afternoon, everybody. Sorry about the, I had an earlier hearing and I've not had any sleep since last night. So I hope you'll pardon, I'll try to make it quick. I said I have other appointments. Uh, let me ask the committee secretary to recognize our guests as we continue with the hearing from the last uh, uh, hearing uh, last uh, two days ago. Go ahead, uh, Sherry. For the record, from uh, here, Attorney Ami is my administrator and Chief Executive Officer is BMA. A rep representative uh, Romancer is coming on his way. A representative Ricky Sandoval, Vice Chair, House Special Committee on Basic Conversion and also author of House Bill 8720. Uh, Ms. Bernadette David, Enterprise Services Supervisor from CESA. Uh, uh, Mr. Armand Arresta, former HBMA Administrator. Uh, Sheila Marie Dicena, Corporate Planning from BCDA. And from uh, right, Attorney Francis Brillantes from PESA. Uh, Director Juvi Dan. Dano Prata, Di Director for Research and Information Office from DOF. Director Loretta Malaluan, Assistant Regional Director, DPWH Region 3. And Attorney Joselito Gonzalez, Philippine Reclamation Authority Assistant Manager. That's all. Okay, thank you. We're continuing the hearing uh, uh, last uh, January 23, 2019, one day ago, and uh, on the matter of House Bill number 8720 and Senate Bill number 660, both amending the Base Conversion Development Act, amending for the purpose 7227 Republic Act, addressed now as the Base Conversion Development Act of 1992. This is introduced by Congressman Roman, Makapagal Arroyo, Calixto Rubiano, et al., or the lower house, and uh, SBN number 660, introduced by uh, As we discussed, uh, the amendments were our committee aimed to expand SUMIC and to give the authority more powers to effect programs for the people. As we discussed, discussed the measures, we hope that we remember the values and the idealism that made SUMIC a success, especially the volunteers are up and spread these values, including economic development, uh, to as many people who are willing to share it. With this, we now continue our discussion. All right. Uh, All right, now let's go to the tax incentive, shall we? Uh, are there any amendments that are, uh, that are proposed? Uh, uh, the tax on gross income earned paid by all business drivers within the Zurich based special economic zone, LP port, uh, has a remittance. Uh, a proposal and under the Senate bill, it's 2% for the national government, 1% for SBMA, 2% for distribution to local government units, and uh, divided in some barriers to along the city, Subic, San Antonio, San Marcelino, Castellejos. I don't know about San Antonio because it was never part of the original intention. Uh, same thing with the local bill. The uh, Congress won the uh, bill uh, on how in the house in Bataan it was originally Botoan, uh, Morong Hermosa, and then Lopihan, and uh, and uh, in the house same uh, moment. This has. Uh, Session is presumed. If we're going to include in the Lupihan, then it will be part of the expansion of the uh, pre port insofar as uh, along the Port Subic, along the city Subic Town, and the Lupihan as the gate. 
Uh, that might be a stretch right away, but I'm willing to gamble on this and hope that uh, the others will agree. But uh, so far as the gays are concerned, that's the only thing that I'm worried about. Because the, I would, I, I leave it up open to all because if you look at the map, the European is quite large. It goes inside the other areas of Bataan and it becomes a very difficult uh, area to, uh, uh, so longer as contiguous as before. There will be a splatter uh, of uh, possible, uh, and possible smuggling in the process. I, however, I'm willing to go through the highway between Dinalupihan and Olongabo, which means along the highways uh, covering the uh, uh, territory that you'll have to put a gate, a fence, uh, so that the gated area will be in Dinalupihan at some point in time. But if you want to make it simple, we could do it at a later date and set a date uh, when we will expand uh, to the Nalupian. I must refer that uh, suggestion because in the first place, my suggestion, uh, which has already been approved by President Arroyo previously, and which is the original intent uh, as we envisioned it was Subic and Olongapo will be the free port, and my suggestion is Olongapo Mona, and then later on go to Subic, and then as we expand, we go to the Nalupian along the highway as I stated. Because if you put it, if you include the whole of the Nalupihan, baka may harapan tayo dyan and there will be negative. Uh, uh, well, if you're just going to go through the highway, you can go all the way up to Tipo, lock the gate at Tipo, lock the gate at maybe uh, uh, the old checkpoint in Bataan, in, uh, 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 in Bataan where there was a, there's now a cemetery. Uh, but I'd much rather really bring it back to the original area of Olongapo, which is, uh, uh, I suppose, I've not really thought about it this very much, but uh, for purposes of preserving the integrity, uh, I'm willing to open it to uh, comments. Uh, Armando Reza, where would you extend the freeport gate? So our original plan at this World Bank was at uh, uh, by Kabalan, do you Yes, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Kabalan, uh, the intersection of, uh, at the end of Olongapu City and then a portion of Dinalupihan. That's at the bridge? By the toll, I think by the toll booth, Mr. Uh -huh. Chairman. By the toll booth where the SC techs. Oh, that's Tipo. That's Tipo. And then we're talking about the preport of Olongapu. Now you're including Olongapu City as part of the preport. So where do you put the gates of customs? Freeport, as you know, is a separate customs territory. Yes, sir. So you need the uh, and it must control. be it must be uh, it must uh, be it must be able to be contained, right? You need to control ingress and egress of goods. And you need to make sure that you don't harm the economy outside the freeport. Yes, sir. In Olongapo, I think the bridge leading to Subic would be a natural uh, a natural border. In Matain, before, before you enter Subic. And then, going to Bataan. Going to Bataan. I'm willing to go as far as the Lupian and Layak. I think the Lupian and Layak would be. Uh, don't, don't, think well. <laughs> because uh, you have to have a fence up area. You have to uh, put up a big fence starting from Olongapo all the way up to the Layak Gate. You can, however, put the gate as you approach uh, going up to the area of uh, near Tipo, where the cemetery you can see from uh, the zigzag. No? This is the original boundary, actually, when I was a kid. There was a tank there before, an old Japanese tank as you go down there, and you put it on top of the, uh, uh, before you don't actually hit Layak, you hit the top of uh, the hill, the part of the Dalupian will be covered, but the gate will be on top of that hill. Do you, are you familiar with that? Uh, Mr. Chair. No, not Sacrifice Valley. I'm talking Mr. about, uh, I'm talking about that area where uh, you're too young because you don't know the old checkpoint there. The old checkpoint of the base was on top. 
You know, when you go right, there's a cemetery. Uh, right, Lumang Tipo, yeah, that would be it. And you have land there yeah. that you can contain it to it. So you can put up, <coughs> you can put up a uh, land there. Uh, otherwise, you'll have to lock it up in, uh, if you want to be safe. Because, alam nyo, maraming may ingit na naman dyan eh. Uh, if you want to be safe, you can all go out one gate sa Tipo gate na lang. And you lock up along the po uh, doon sa Kabalan. You put the gate there. No gate. Uh, well, you still have to have a gate because, because the old highway is still there. So, tama. Doon na lang siguro sa old uh, Tipo. Old Tipo. No, no. That's not along the Mr. Chairman, uh, I think the barangay you're referring to is Roosevelt in the Nalupihan. It's Sorry? where the uh, old highway going to Longa po. Um, pero doon po meron tayong exit papuntang uh, Essex. So that's uh, Barangay Roosevelt. Yeah, that's Tipo. That's, I, put, I made that highway. I know that very okay. well. All right? I put up the bridge, I put up the highway, put up the tunnel. Tinalitan nga yung tunnel, dapat mas mahaba yan. Uh, precisely because we wanted the highway to be speedy and it goes all the way down to NSD Port, NSD Pier. Uh, I'm talking about the old route, the old MacArthur Highway route, but this one also ends up in the new road going to Angeles, the, uh, what do you call that, SETEX, SETEX Paren. So this one will be on top of the ridge in the old military checkpoint, which we can determine. It's already in the Nalupihan, but you still have an area there where you can uh, lock it off. Uh, so uh, uh, the uh, outflow of... Uh, uh, goods can be contained. I am not going to prejudice the uh, whole vision of the freeport just to just to satisfy local political interest, both in Olongopo and in Samba. That's why I did not extend it right away to Olongopo because I wanted to make sure we can lock it up. So we lock it up in that area. Uh, if you trust the chair, I will put it there in the law. Yeah. Mr. Chair, since we have the map here on the projector, on the screen, I mean, uh, could you just exactly pinpoint? Mm -hmm. the, map the old road. Yeah. 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 It's not a good day to be slow. When your feet help out, then we can. So can you help out? I, I seem to understand, based on the explanation of Attorney Aisma, if know, it's an asset test, okay lang po. <laughs> uh, going to, um, to uh, on, on the asset text, it's to the left, actually. Di po ba? The Kasi road, that's, have that's, the that's the new highway in Satipo, di ba? Okay, mm -hmm. madali yun. Uh, the, old, the old town, the old route, Pero walang gulo, it's easier kung boundary mo yung bridge doon sa, sa Carmen's Resort. <coughs> can I get some, can you put your thinking caps on, Administrator uh, Wilma Isma and former Administrator? Uh, I know what to do, out of respect for Congress Human Rubar, I'm trying to stretch it all the way to the Nalupihan. Like I said the other day, I've always been transparent. Unahin muna natin yung logo po bago tayo umabot doon. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Because if we're not ready, we should not do it because baka masira eh. Mr. Chairman, 
Uh, thank you very much for your efforts to include the uh, dinalitihan. Um, pero uh, nakikita po namin ni Attorney Ace madun sa aming dating pag-uusap sa lower house. Uh, actually, ang Hermosa po, which is Tipo, uh, technically speaking, at saka ang Morong has more area for, for expansion. Dinalitihan is just the gateway, basically. But when it comes to uh, investor sites and uh, um, uh, availability of property, mas uh, feasible and more attractive po ang Hermosa at saka That's Morong po. Uh, I, I hope you'll understand. The Freeport is different from a special economic zone. Special economic zone is an area in cruise for productivity of manufacturing. A Freeport is where you have financial center, you have commerce, you can buy stuff like Hong Kong. An export presentation zone is like Maribelis Bataan, where it's gated, there is no consumption. In, in, in the Freeport, you can consume goods in the area, which is essentially good for tourism, no? So ako, kung para hindi na tayo mag-complicated, ako, ilalagay ko pa nga, i-atras ko hanggang kalayaan eh. Doon na lang sa kalayaan. Para may gate ka sa kalayaan gate. So long ka po. But yung Hermosa will not be touched because Hermosa, you're already a special economic zone. In fact, it's a PESA. Di ba? I just want to make sure we are respected by the national government because there are those who plan on fear. I don't plan on fear. But I also plan on pragmatism. If I, if I go, to, uh, if I stretch it out, at nagkaroon yan, papakailaman yan ang presidente, sisiraan lang yan, masisiraan na. And I know, I know the government, believe you me. There's somebody now being prosecuted in, in the NB, by the NBI. I don't know why somebody doesn't like him. He's now being prosecuted for the Subic Bay, the uh, smuggling in customs. Tataka ko dun eh. Hindi hinuhuli yung mga hinuhuli ko. Ang hinuhuli si La Peña. I have no brief for La Peña, pero nagtataka ko dun. Can you please uh, check it out? Ano nga yan dun? Bakit sinasama si La Peña? Pero hindi hinuhuli si Colonel uh, Mike. So, is it alright if we put it kalayaan? Dun na muna. Dun sa bridge dun. Actually, there's even an extension. You can even extend it to the old original checkpoint before you hit forestry. Uh, sa Yu Kabalan. Old Kabalan, Old Kabalan. Uh -oh. Para meron, kasi ang importante dyan, when you put the checkpoint, you have to have a holding area for trucks going out, for cars going out. I'm looking at uh, the people currently running Subic. You ought to know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, but don't tell me. Don't make me do all the work. Why don't we put it this way? Why don't we hold this in abeyance with those three sites and where we can plan? Because you know what I'm saying, Freeport, no, I May kasaba yan design. May pera kami nilagay dyan sa World Bank. Para ilalabas sa Olongo po, masya-check. Pero hindi lang na ginawa yan. So ang gagawin lang natin, lalabas natin yung pre-port para magkaroon na ng economic development doon sa siksika ng Olongo po. Now, kung ako masusunod, iaabot ko hanggang dito. Do you mind? Can you put it back in the old map? Let's, let's leave that Muna and then we'll come back for it later. In the meantime, uh, I suggest uh, you have one of your people look at the maps that are clear. Para maliwanag, ha? So, at least we're agreed we'll be more conservative and then at a certain time we can expand to Subic Town at Matayad Gate. No? Uh, 
the court will now be, the gate will be at Matain Gate as you, when you go to, before you hit Manga Beach, yeah, Baloy Beach. I'm uh, using the old Olongo Potters, Manga Beach, and the Ron Baloy, that uh, Manga Beach. So do the pass on before you hit, uh, before you hit uh, Matain. And then at a certain time, we can put a coletilla here in the Vilna. We will expand it to this area once we finish the security arrangements in Olongapo. And we should put a timeline para hindi naman sila magiging anxious. All right? Because there will be another complication there once you start putting up. Uh, my plan is to have a tunnel that will forego the zigzag road going to Subic and go punch a hole through the mountain in Calaclan or even in Cabalan and end up in Castillejos or San Marcelino already, bypassing it. Send traffic jam, grab it. All right? <coughs> and the plan is to get more land, but we open up to more land. Okay, so are we on the same page, everybody? Huh? So I will, I will have a... Yes, sir. I have a dis administrator I to make sure that your engineer fix it right away. You can you can call up uh, who's the engineer now. Say. Uh, and in SBMA, uh, Marco Estabilio and Mar Sanki. Oh, so it's it's up 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 where it's very safe. Now there will be no um, no over outflow of goods yes, illegally. We have to protect the country also. Free ports can really destroy the economy of a country. Wag ka nang smuggle niya ng katakot-takot, Ricardian. Now, the basis for a location in the lower house, para tayo nagbabay ka na rito, 40% population, no? Doon sa, sa, kwan, sa, kay Aquino, uh, Senator Aquino, is 50%. Ako sa akin, Right now, you can change it later. 70% population, 15% land area, because lugi lugi ang along the box sa land area and Subic Town. No? So if you make it 70 population muna, 15 land area, 15 equal sharing, and when you extend it next time, then you can go back to uh, uh, a location. If that's okay. There should be a master plan for Subic redevelopment on a staggered basis, as I said. Uh, and Mr. Chairman. Yes. Yes. Um, actually, the original point of contention before in the lower house in the previous Congresses was to place more weight on uh, land Population. area. But uh, seeing that it would affect the uh, revenues or the uh, income shared by uh, the different LGUs who are currently receiving a lot on the basis of population, we have reached a Solomon Solomonic um, formula which would be a 40% um, population, 40%, I know, 25, no, Papan? 40%, 40 population, 25 land area, 20 land area, and? population, 40% population, 40% land area, and 20% um, equal sharing, to which, all of the LGUs involved were amenable. Well, let me put it this way. Very frankly, very bluntly. Along the post land was occupied by the U.S. Navy. My father was born inside the base. My mother's, my mother-in-law's business used to be uh, near, uh, inside Along the post. The gate of the Spanish gate used to be the old Navy gate, all right? Which by accident of history, the mate and the mate and Along the post. So, six and dawn. That's why it's just like Baguio. Can you check the population density of Olongapo right now? Oh. So if you look at the population density of Olongapo, Pangalua, I will argue for this out of justification. 99% of the volunteers that protected Subic were the Olongapo residents. And they, they took a leap of faith. I said, we're going to make a free port. You'll have to protect it. Don't steal it. Don't take what happened to Clark. And by doing this, everybody will trust us. Sinama namin yung iba, out of respect na dapat, kumalap yung development. Uh, unfortunately, hindi natin sinama kagad yung Olongapo. 
ang, nam, ang namayani dito ay yung loob ng subik. Yung actual proper, subik ng proper. So, tignan nyo ang nagbawa, nagninegosyo doon sa loob ng subik. Ni, hindi na kinabang ang tigolo ko. I don't have a business in, a long, in Subi because I was the chairman. You can check uh, as much as you want. I do have a couple of houses there for my children and myself, but I don't have a business there. Can you confirm that? Can you confirm that? All of you, Ricky, you know that? So, ang totoo niyan, bihira ang mga tigolo ko except perhaps for Sammy Del Rosario that has that and then also This guy with the hotel, Mahalo, si Tuason? Si, ha? No. Yung hotel ang bago. I mean, Oscar Santos? Oh, yun. Oh, oh, yun. So, lahat sila, lahat na nag-negosyo dyan, tigyan ba yan? In fact, I will tell you this. Initially, the, the plan of Subic was to invite major, major players. It was supposed to be going straight to foreign exchange. That's why I could have gotten a lot more. Ang ginawa ang lahat ng itong, binigay niya ng binigay ng lupa. I would never have given it to Lyceum. I would never have given it to Aura College. But obviously, under pressure siya na maganda yung development ng araw, pinuno niya ng pinuno. Siya na wala ng lupa ngayon, ang Subic. That's the, that's the naked truth. Do you agree? Do you agree? The naked truth is, no wala na lupa. Tapos, ang ginawa ko lang dyan noong araw, Richie Brothers, because we wanted it as an auction, temporary lang. Because the whole plan, Congresswoman Roman, and that's why we built TIPO, is that when you get down from TIPO, you hit Naval Supply Depot Terminal. Ang lapad na noon, you could put your first pier there, and right away you could put up all the container yard there. Eh kaya lang, nung umalis ako, uh, nung umalis, umalis na yung Richie Brothers, pumasok na ito mga ako. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy for them. They became billionaires. Billionaires, right, Ricky? Namatay pa nga si yung kaibigan natin, si Dominic, no? I don't know them from Adam. I just met them after I already left. But that should have been the staging area and the holding area for time and hours. You were there. You were there, right? So, Walang nangyayari sa tiga Olongo po. Nakuha na Olongo po trabaho. Masakit pa rin ito ngayon. Yung mga marihirap na nag-volunteer ngayon. Because of an order from DBM and I tend to contest it. DBM and Civil Service. Ibinababa pa niyo yung sweldo ngayon ng mga matatanda na doon na mahihirap na dahil hindi sila college graduate. Hindi nyo kinoconsider yung servisyo nila at ano nangyayari? Bababa ang sweldo nila. Kahit nabigyan nyo palang 20% aggregate na sweldo, na sweldo they will no longer have a bonus. They will no longer be covered by GSIS. They'll be covered by SSS, correct? And GSIS is a better benefit, right? I, I, I authored uh, the SSS law. In spite of that, lugi pa rin sila. So, ang tigawang ko po talaga, yung sinasabi ko, yun lang talaga ang nakinaba. We were really gunning. We were, uh, you know, I would never have put the uh, beach in front of Olongopo, this uh, where a lighthouse is, you know that. All the hotels should not have been on the beach. It would have been on the other side. In fact, Shangri-La came over. Uh, she, uh, Mr. Kwok, I met them. Peninsula came over. She, uh, Michael Kaduri. We were preparing for that. Nung tinagal ako, nawala na, then inoko pa na yung beach, which is really a travesty because I've been to all parts of the world and I know what I'm doing. Hindi ko talaga mapalagay niyan. So, ano nangyari? Nawala. And for a song, can you please tell the congresswoman what happened there? 17 hectares. Di ba? Correct? Ilang hectares yun? Uh, close to 17 hectares uh, with a lease rate of 1 peso per square at the time that it was... 1 peso per square, square meter. At the, uh, at the time that I it was leased in dollars. Because there are a lot of money in the past. I never charge anybody in pesos. I charge it in dollars because I was religiously sticking to making it a rich haven for the large. You understand me? Galit ako dyan, no? pero tapos na yun. Wala na ako magagawa. I don't know who's crying. But I used to charge in dollars. Coastal paid in dollars. That's what 
got us started on the right foot. The government wasn't given any money. In other words, Subic people, the Olokobo people, picked up Subic by its bootstraps and brought it up. Pinoy, and dami na katrabaho, di kabataan, di hermosa. I don't mind that. I'm happy. I'm happy they got work. Pero ang Olokobo, because we did not have the colleges and the universities, because wala kami yung lugar, wala eh. Konting-konti. Uh, ang nakuha, konti lang ang mga tiga-olongo po. Even the guys, if you look at it, marami daw na kuha. So, what I want now is when we take out the gate to Olongo po, gusto ko malaklihan nyo para may chance for development yung Olongo po because we will have a master plan. We will have an urban redevelopment plan and I'm sure you're aware of it because they do even abroad. Even to South Street Seaport, right? In New York. That's redevelopment. You've been to uh, San Francisco, the, uh, the period 39. That's urban redevelopment. It used to be uh, the Tenderloin area and all that, no? Canary Wharf in London, that is what they did. Kaya alam ko yan, pinaplano ko yan lahat. Para pagdating ng oras, uh, kung di nga kami nakalipat doon sa where si Hanjin is, we would have to make sure na ma-redevelop ma yan. Uh, I don't know how much the current administration loves that vision. I am not privy to that. But as far as I'm concerned, we would like to make sure that the people in Olongopo, not out of entitlement, because I don't like entitlement, at least get a chance. Worse, pinasok pa kami ng bihimot na SM. Kinuha ba ito yung remaining land ng park? And I can tell you this, I was offered even 10 million and I have it on tax. I said, no, I'm not going to accept it. I'm not going to trade the future of my city for 10 million pieces of silver, if you will. Kinawa nila yan karate. So wala na kami paglalagyan. Pati yung nauling lupa doon na dapat the sports plaza, na wala yan. Maraming tragedy yan eh. So now I would like to request you to reconsider in sharing at least for the first few years. Because kung wala yan, I don't even know who's going to be the mayor next year. Uh, I have a sister-in-law who's running. I didn't even want her to run, quite frankly, and Arman knows this. But they run. You know that, right? So, kahit kasi nang tumakbo, kailangan may fair share. Para may makuha naman ang mga tigolong kung magawa yung kasada, luluwagan, may sewage yan, may... You grew up in Olongo Po, you're part of that. So I hope you understand. Uh, I don't want to make my position harden here. But uh, I don't want to harden my position here. But you have to make sure that uh, the people of Olongo Po get their fair share. Mr. Yes. Um, in my experience, usually the reason why the, the population was given a bigger weight was because obviously you have to provide more services to where it's needed. So population is the best way to allocate that. Most of the land areas within the Subic Bay Freeport zone are actually forested lands. Right. So the developed area there is only 4,000 square meters. So there really aren't any Are you aware of that? The developed area of Subic Bay is a land. About 4,000 hectares, right? Jurisdictionally, we have 64,000, but we can only develop 11,000. Yes, sir. Including the ocean, including yes, the mountains, Correct. we can yes, only sir. develop one. We can only develop 11,000, and only 4,000 um, are the ones that were actually left by the Americans that can be leased out. So that's why ngayon po at this stage, 25 years later, there's hardly any space. The uh, Naval Magazine, yes, sir. Uh, wala yan. No? Mm -hmm. Yan ang sir nasa baba. It's only so, 4,000 hectares. Tight yan. So to me, the only way for it to go up, and you will have some airport restrictions, is when you go up uh, in terms of uh, buildings, right? So dapat, ang buildings mo nasa labas, sa ulong po, tataas ang building doon. Right? Yes, sir. Right now, sir, the height clearance that we are allowed is... Nung ginagawa ko yung FedEx dyan, inaaral namin yan, pati Kalaklak Ridge, so, iikot dyan yan, na ayaw nung FedEx magpatayo doon sa ibabaw ng Kalaklak Ridge, ayaw nila magkawin, baka tumama yung, yung uh, replano doon sa Ridge. No? So, we can see now, 
na why I think uh, there must be resources provided the city so that they can have an urban redevelopment program. I'm not going to rely on that money for urban redevelopment. In fact, it is a duty of SBMA to make sure na matulungan niya yan and their subic town and their dinulupihan because yung mga yan ang nakilabang. Morong and Hermosa hindi nakilabang sa Navy yan. Sarado ang gate dyan ng araw eh. Yes. And uh, there is now a provision in the House bill that provides in automatically half a percent to the treasurer's office of the city or the municipality where the business is located. So in effect, you're now splitting not 2%, which is what was in the original law, but 2.5%. And automatically, the half percent goes to the whole city. But the, Bataan, I think the boundary of Bataan is, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Royal Duty Free. I don't even want to go into that because no, but there, there are a lot of businesses Mr. Going Chairman. That, I don't blame Congresswoman Ramon si Ami niya malaki yan. There are a lot of businesses that are located in the... If you're to ask me, I want to create a new city. Little Lupian, gusto yung ganyan, walang problema. Little Lupian, Subic, Olonga po, Borong, Hermosa, Provides, Contiguous, that will be a new city. Walang problema yan. Pero pag nagsikutan na kayo dyan, amin to, Eh, wala naman lupa dyan, wala naman tayo dyan. Yan ang mayayari dyan. We have gone through this debate, believe you me, years ago. So, it, unlike Clark, is Clark here? Ang, ang lapad ng Clark, di ba? Ha? Huh? Sir, it's 4,400 hectares. 34,400 hectares. Plus, yes sir. Huh? Yes sir. Plus the Clark Special Economic, so it's more than 30,000 hectares. Kaya talaga ang Clark, ang mga maging capital next capital of the Philippines. No? At kung dapat palaguhin nyo yan, because kung sasayangin nyo yung lupa dyan, o wawalan tayo ng greenery. I had a hearing today, sabi ko, yung mga tao dito sa Manila, uh, nakatira sa mga hovels, kaya nagkakaroon ng problema sa juvenile delinquency. Wala nang playground, wala niyo, no? Yes, sir. We, ju we just had a redevelopment of our new master plan by... Uh, architect Palafox, no. which was only approved last uh, December. Look at me. <laughs> May as well put a gun in your head. And I, subic, I went to the Enterprise uh, Corporation of America who did a lot of the master planning and they made suggestions and that's why we had an open bid. We got Japanese Kenesi Tange and you know how much you paid them? $50,000 to one. Because it was a, a contest sponsored by the World Bank, and we had a master plan. Unfortunately, pag-alis ko, hindi na ginamit yung master plan. Kaya, pati kagad, inokupahan yung beach, samantalang dapat ang buildings will be lined by, like Mexico. Habang you go back to Mataas, habang nasa harap, mababa, para may nakikita doon sa likod. So what I'm saying is, you have to take a look at this provision in terms of sharing. And I'm doing this for the first time, huh? I did not uh, plan this. I just saw it. On the way out, so we go back at 40% lang or 50%. Nagdagan nyo muna yan para makahabol ang ulong ko po sa development. And then, the Nalupian, we can put on there all later on. And Subic Town, we can put later on. And eventually, with, with Morong and Hermosa, with Rich and with the expanse of Subic uh, in terms of the... Siguro natin ang pupunta dyan ang... Pupuntajan ang development, manufacturing. Can you show? Can you show us? I went to Subic yesterday, man. I mean, when was I in Subic? Two days ago. Can you show the new factory of uh, the Japanese there? That's a very strong signal. The entry of the Japanese factory there of a very high. Uh, precision engineering factory will herald a lot of factories. And I'll tell you something here. They are very cautious of the fact that they should not, China should not get, between us Indians, no? China should not get Hanjin. Because why don't you invest in Hanjin with the Koreans and the Americans and the Filipinos so we can do that. So I am predicting Pag nag-expand ang hapon dyan, aabot tayo sa Morong, sa Hermosa, aabot tayo dyan. Pero sa loob po, walang paglalagyan. Ang ganda na rin yan, aabot dyan. And then it goes to all the way out to reach. 
That's my prediction. So can you guys take a look at gano ba kalaki ang effect ng sharing na yan? Can you quantify it, Mr. Wharton? Galing-galing mo mag-compute eh. Di mag-compute ka ngayon. Uh, sir, what the information that we have is uh, what's provided for in the existing law that um, allows 50% based on population, 25% based on land area, and 25% This is the original law that was passed in 1990. Yeah, kami nun. 5%, namin Okay, ano ang itatag sa atin? Hindi pa ako marunong sa county ang county. 5% na siguro. Sabi rin rin siya, 5%. Sabi rin rin rin. Um, for Alonga Po City, for period of January to June 2018, we have remitted 34,356,210.73. For Subic Sambales, for the same period, 22 million. So, ang buhay nila. 22 million. San Antonio Sambales, 12 million, 12.6. Ha? Huh? 12.6 million. Did you mean to San Antonio? Because uh, the, the law was amended in, uh, based on RA 9400, which is, was the amendment to the law, which provided for uh, shares for San Antonio and Marcelino Castillejos, which is a contention because they don't really have land within the free port. Um, for San Antonio, 12.6 million. So that means that you share the money up? Yes, sir. And those who actually have domi uh, have lands within the jurisdiction. But what do you know what happened in San Antonio? The people there were cutting off the wires. They were meeting in the Philippine Navy Dome. They were not going to be able to cut off the wires. They were not meeting. And the same incident happened in Subic. They tried to get the ship to shore power line. And they were going to get the ship to shore power line. Pinalis ko yung Philippine Navy at Philippine Air Force doon. Gawin ko yung President Ramos doon. I don't think, Congresswoman Romana, you can check with President Ramos. Yung Air Force, may pinatay doon sa QB. Ang yun nila ibigay, I threatened, susuguri namin lahat ng volunteer, dadaling ko doon para mahuli yung Air Force. In the Philippine Navy, we were able to get the ship to shore in the Philippine Navy. Kuryente. So, sabi ko kay Presidente, all our dreams will go away and be dissipated if you allow these people. Alusin nyo muna yan, because this is no longer a military facility. And up to now, they still want to take over Subit as a military facility. I don't think Congresswoman Roman Rezaf will allow that. If we do that, then you better get a gun and shoot your head. Yes, Ricky. Okay.
Oh, shall we go? What we'll do is, uh, session resume, what we will do is we will write out the amendments and then call for a bicameral conference committee. Is that okay? Because what we're doing right now is practically a bicameral conference committee out of respect for the Honorable, the lovely, Geraldine Roman. No, kaya ako napilitan mo ganyan because baka may mayroon kayong sensitivity. Because I, the, the last thing I want to be accused of is I'm being parochial. Kaya even the, the pre-port, gusto ko umabot hanggang sa inyo, but unti-unti. So, Arman, uh, can we have the amendments? Let's prepare it, and then let's call for a bike. Uh, I'll present it to the Senate, and then we'll do it. I, I will just offhand say this. A free port is a separate customs territory. The one who introduced it here is yours truly. Right here, I was standing there in the old Congress. Senator Shahani was there, and all the questions were being asked. I was like my staff. I was answering it because the free port was a strange animal. They don't know how to do it. And the vision is Subic will be like Hong Kong and Singapore. And I will give you a copy of the Hong Kong strategy so that your secretary will faint because it's very, very, you know, arching. Offshore banking, we have to bring central bank. We wanted to compete with Hong Kong. That was 1995, two years before Hong Kong was turned over to the Philippine government, to the, uh, to the uh, uh, Chinese government. Give them a copy. Give them okay, Sandy Dominguez, para ba'y matay si Sandy? So the next a copy? Hmm. Then ask him to call me, because I'm not going to call him. The last time he called me was I was going to do a privilege, I was going to do uh, a filibuster on train one because I asked that 13% be given to the military because China was beating us about. No, we agreed here. And I said, I'll have the president call you. See, go ahead. We will stop until the president calls. The president called me there. So I assure you, Dick, makakaroon ng Damage. That's why you're ordering two submarines in Pala in six years. Pa. In the meantime, China is running roughshod. That's why I'm trying very hard. And the president again sent uh, somebody here to say, Oh, what's on the Sabimudu sa Hanjin? Sabi ko, Yan yung ilagay ang Philippine Navy dyan sa Hanjin. This is Subic. Doon sa Hanjin. At dyan tayo gagawa ng barko natin dyan. At malapit na tayo dyan sa. So please. Try to be, try to reward those who have meritocracy. Wala naman nag-isip dyan eh. Hindi naman nalas pagyak katulad ng Clark eh. Sorry ah. Alam nyo, nagpunta ako doon kasama ko direct Angelo Castro. Lahat, pati wire, binuksan yung wall. Pati comfort room kinuha. Pati hospital equipment na andun sa mabalakan. True or false? Pati mga ating medical center nakabili doon. Hindi nangyari sa subik yan. Because I said, this is not gonna happen. The trees remain. So please, we will do the amendment, Madam, Madam Zhao. And then we were going to, we're going to submit it in a uh, by come. I will just ask uh, Arman to work with the current chairman para you can fix all these things as well. And so far as the free party is concerned, it should be a separate customs territory, and nothing will be taxed inside. Customs should be on the boundary. If we go out to Subic, it will be out in Kalayaan. If, if that's the first place we're going to have, we're going to have, to have a Kalayaan uh, infrastructure built for customs so that every vehicle that goes out can be checked. And then, uh, in so far as the ratings are concerned, I will I will make it a point to stand up here and say, because I know the history. Okay? My book is finished. It's all there. In fact, the Lopez says, what to publish it? I'll show you the text. Sabi na mag-publish. Because it's all there. So, is that okay?
So everybody, I'm sorry I had kept you so long, but you know, I... Arman, any other suggestions on the side mo? Okay, or Ami? Our team will stay behind so that we can work with uh, Mr. Areza and, and in the committee secretary on how we can move forward. In peace and harmony? Yes, of course. Uh, in peace and harmony? Yes, to come up with a solution. Kaya naman kayo nag-volunteer sa Subic, nagpakatanga kayo yung sumulod kay Dick Gordon na walang sweldo in the first six months of the year. Correct? Two years? De, hindi ka naman na two years. Uh, inabot, lang, inabot ka lang ng mura doon sa Guam, doon sa pinupuntahan natin, katakot-takot. And that's why you're not ahead. Okay? Ano yan? Ang Clark naman ang gusto, 1% national government. Comment? 2% CDC. 2%. 1% LGU. Wow. Ilang ba yung LGU na gati sa inyo, kapatid? Mabalakad sa kanilis. Buti sa kanila, dalawa lang. Para yung panlingwahe. Wow. 1% Treasurer's Office. Yung Treasurer's Office to? Sir, sa amin, 1% uh, national, 1% provincial, 1% local government unit, and 2% yung IPA, or which is Clark Chairman. Ako, eh, di kaibigan ko yun, papayag ako rito, pero pareho rin sa Subic. Boss ko pala dati nag-6 niya, eh. Nagtamaha ko doon sa tao yun, eh. Or Secretary of Tourism. Di ba? Wala akong tinatago, Ami. Si Gloria, mga pag-aroy, nag-insist yan, that's okay with me because she loves, she loves her province. I also love my region. Kaya lang, mas malaki yung region ko. I represent, I'm the senator who represents, one of the senators who represent Region 3. So I have to be fair with everyone. Besides, we already have rich at inaharang paro, balita ako ng mga kaibigan ko doon sa kabilang kanan at sa kabilang kanan. Nag-aisa ba kayo nung kwan? Monday. O, oh, pagdadasal ko, para din na kami mag-away. Uh, okay na yan, Herman? Wala na? Wala na tayong babaguhin? Uh, Mr. Chairman, two more items. Income tax holiday, which is a new provision in the SBMA bill. Hindi lang kayo sa local? No, there's a new provision in the SBMA bill which grants an eight-year income tax holiday, which was not in yeah, the... That was put in there? In the house bill. As bill by the same person, uh, sir. It's uh, it's purposely so that we can be as competitive as PESA because PESA right now allows income tax holiday as an incentive to its uh, registered investors. So, Clark, um, mer mer sir, the amendments, uh, the House version will adapt both for SBMA and for Clark. Mr. Chairman, may I just recommend that we make it because PESA offers four to six years. The House bill makes it eight years. The BOI is four to eight years, right? So we just need to make it consistent with the existing. Oh, what is your suggestion, to be fair? Well, if it's consistent with PESA, then it should be four to six years. I agree. See, how fair I am with you? See? Kung gano'n ng pesa, 4 to 6 years, pare-pareho. Is that okay with you? Yes, Mr. Chairman. If the intention is to make it compatible. Nagugulat ka, kamukha mo si Congressman Mitra, no? Si Speaker? Okay, sige. Ano pa? What is the other one? The net operating loss carryover. The NOLCO is a new provision also in the House bill, which was not in 7 to 2 7. It allows for companies to carry over losses for a period of eight years. Hindi ba o eight ayo? What do you say? What pinas? You have to speak. Sir, um, just a clarification on the income tax holiday. If you wanted to pattern to other like PESA, for instance, PESA is following the EO two two six of the BOI. And for you to be able to qualify for the four to six years, there is such a thing as pioneer. You have to be in the investment priorities plan. Is that also the requirement for Subic and Clark? Because I suppose for especially for Subic, since it's a free port, na di ba, sir? And okay, very well, well, Julie. I agree with you to a certain extent, but anak file loan, may you pader, pader yun. 
Actually, he's a mother, she's a mother, pero pader siya. Oh, hindi mo pala kukuha. Anyway. Anyway, sir. Mother so, siya, pero pader siya. Opo. So... Speaker. Okay. Former. Okay. Oo. Oh. Okay po. So kayo kayo na mag-usap, kayo malalaking tao dyan. O kayo may maliliit lang kami. Ay, Ali, aliping sa gigilid lang, lang po ako. Hamak lang kami Taga ano lang po ako, taga relay. But anyway, sir, yun lang po. Kasi may conditions po ang ITH. Plus, um, when you craft, for instance, you already have the 5% GIE, di ba? Um, an ano, ano siya? Would you want to follow also ITH and then 5% GIE? And it doesn't make sense if you have the null call na magbibigay ka rin na null call kasi may ITH ka. Now, if you say na it will follow the ITH, you are under 5% GIE already. Ang tax base mo iba dun sa net. Yes. May I make a comment? Uh, just to make a comment with uh, Director Juvi Danafrata of the DF, the DOF, um, with re in relation to uh, what was being discussed, um, those items or those criteria so that uh, it can fall under um, the ITH can be something that can be discussed in the IRR and it's usually really traditionally discussed in the IRR. In relation to the NOLCO, um, this is also um, re a reflection of the existing bill on the airport free port, area free port of Bataan. And in, AFA, in the AFA law, they actually have um, an ITH, a 5% GIE, and the NOLCO. So ano it's... Ano mo kaya ginawa ko yun ang araw? Yes, sir. Which... Kipit na kipit ang Bataan, Freeport. Ang Bataan, Export Processing Zone. Ang lumabas sa akin si President Aquino, Senator Biasson, and initially Senator Enrile, but Senator Enrile sided with me eventually. So, ako, ang totoo niya, Ami, no? Clark, where's Clark? It is not the incentives alone that make for a successful pre-port. It is the culture of the pre-port, the hardworking people of the pre-port, the honesty, the integrity, location, and of course the overall economic uh, competitiveness. Hindi naman po kinaglayo ka niya, papasok lang siya niya. And I will side with DOF on this battle. Sa akin, ayoko na yan. Hindi na, tama na yung standard natin na 5% kung 5%. So, I mean, I, I, I allow me to, allow us to, to, to I, I mean, that's where I'm going. I hope you don't, you don't mind. Huwag niya nung lagay ng marami pa para hindi na tayo marami pang kaaway at kagalit. Ngayon, kung gusto niya ilagay yan, mag-uusap na lang kami nung dati kong boss sa, simala na si Geraldine sa akin doon, kusapin natin si GMA doon. Kung talaga matigas siya doon, si okay, ang pipirma naman yung kaibigan rin namin, si, Si President, eh, doon na lang sila mag-uusap. Pero yung the rest, huwag na natin dagdagan pa. Because ek-ek na lang yun eh. It really is, as you know, the centrality of the location, the hardworking people, yun ang sinasabi. You remember, I mean, what, what, what did the Japanese say yesterday? What did they go? We love the Philippines. They went there. They're very hardworking and they're very respectful. So they want to produce... Pakita nyo nga, parang makita nga, DFA kasi DFA na, doon sa managandang mataas na building at uh, sa Central Bank eh, napapaligiran ng mga puro bila ng pera. Pakita nyo nga yun sa Subic para makita lang nila. I'm very proud of that and I congratulate Ami. Can you show it? Ayan, sige, next slide. Ayan. Ayan, ayan yung ambassador. Ayan yung lahat, oh. O, ayan, pati ako hindi mo lang kuminom, nakikip as toast. Sige, sira. Pakita nyo yung product, yung product. Go ahead. Ikaw na magpaliwanag ng product. Uh, Nidec is a Japanese company that uh, produces uh, parts for robotic arms. In lieu of the, uh, because all, pretty much a lot of manufacturing facilities, if not all manufacturing facilities all over the world are now being, replacing human beings as labor. So it's now, it's really very high end. And all the parts of- High value. High value, high end, and all the robot parts of the robotic arms are being manufactured um, in Subic. There's only three fa two fa they only have three factories of this ma of this kind: two in Japan and one in Subic. And uh, they so have Kyoto, they have Ueno, uh, yes. and uh, in Subic, sir. Nagoya, Nagoya. Yes, sir. Uh, Tatlo lang, sir. Two in Japan, uh, Nagano, and Kyoto. And the biggest producer will be Subic, Subic at 120,000 a month unit uh, for the parts. And if you Google Amazon. 
you see this cart that actually delivers cartons from one point to another in the big Amazon warehouse. That's being manufactured in Zubik by and the Nike company. Also make prosthetics. Pag napilay tayo mga army, ano, robotic yung leg para six million dollar man. Yeah. Yun ang magpapropel ng paan ng tao para makalakad. Yeah. That's part of it. Yes, Di ba? Yes, sir. Nybeck is one of the pioneer companies that invested in Subic that was convinced by our founding chairman, uh, now Senator Gordon, back in 1998 when they entered Subic. Uh, they were manufacturing hard drives. So they asked me to go back there because now they say, atmosphere we're coming out of the big factory here to let you know. At when we started there, ayo pa lang hapon, napilit lang natin ngayon, lumalaki na sila. So this will be the second coming of Subic along with rich because sa kanya, you can now bring the other Japanese will go to one to uh, Japan kaya nga yun ang sinasabi nila Armando kay ano kay Kri kay Chua kay Carl kay Carl now I will personally lead a delegation of governors and congressmen and we will sell rich provided magawa lang halimbawa sa bataan makagawa na sila dito sa Urani itong gagawin sa Hermosa itong gagawin May 100 uh, hectares, may 200 hectares. May bahay kasama lamang para doon na uwi yung mga tao, mura na ang pamasay. That's what we're gonna do. And I'm pretty confident once those things are done, we can sell it in Japan, we can sell it elsewhere. So, I just want to tell you na, don't look at the small picture na nababawasan ng lalaki ang kita ng gobyerno dyan. Like this one. Ang makita niya yung mga Pilipino doon na, uh, Sir, idol ko ko, sabi sa akin ng Tigolongo po. Uh, pero actually, galing sa ibang bayan. Pero nasa Subic Town yun, ha? Yung Electronic Communications Engineer, si Rillo. Rillo, siya nag-guard sa akin. Hindi sa bayan ko yun, sa next town, Subic. He works there. Look at the opportunities we can give to them. When I went to uh, Bataan Park, sa Pab, Tiyo saan ka? Saan buwan ka sir? Paano ka umabot dito? Tiyo saan ka? Kaya sir, eh may trabaho sir. Alam mo, hinihingi na naman sa akin. Kaya sinasabi ko, nagbigay ako, ilang dormitory yung binigay natin sa bataan. Dalawang dormitory. Hinihingi lang, apat. Nakahinga ako ng dalawa. Building, magkano yan? 50 million each? 36 million? Ayan. That's how fast they are. So, look at the good side, when we generate jobs, they will generate taxes, etc. Economic activity. Yes, you. Oh. Um, sir, I think in that sense, uh, like this type of activity, this is really also the vision of the DOF. Na okay, na sabi na may mga ganyan, that the incentive should be given to this type of activities that will actually produce the benefit to the economy, especially to the people. Na may transfer of technology, meron tayong natututunan, but at the same time, you employ, of course. So these are the type of activities that we really wanted to attract and give the incentives to. And we've done that in Subic. Mm -mm. We used to go around bringing Shaquille O'Neal shoes, size 17 na tayo, or 19. We used to wear suits, uh, wear suits made in Subic. Ang uh, umpisa pa lang yun eh. I used to bring fishing poles. When I go around, ito gawa sa subi ito. Telephones made in subi. TV made in subi. Dalo dalo kayo when I travel. Para akong, oh, kasi natawa ako na kami ng mga tao pag dumarating yung, are you migrating? Kasi bisa, ang dami na yung manita eh. Para akong salesman. But that's how subi crew. And we got Acer. Good news is, Acer, when I left, became Wistrom. Correct? When I left, it became Wistrom. Now they're coming back, not because of me, but because Army has managed to get the Taiwanese. Okay. Uh, Acer is going to pull, provide. Ambition, it was going to be the biggest Acer factory in the world. Umalis lang dahil nagkapalit na kagulo eh. Pag tinanggal mo imagine, tinanggal ako nung inaerap nung araw, itong pinaka-successful Wall Street Journal, lahat siya, hindi ako nung mayabang. Everybody knew it was the most successful base conversion in the world. That's the galing ka. Talaga atras yan. Yun ang sa mga loob ko. Ang sabi ko lang sa mga loob ko. Anyway, to make a long story short, we will take a look at that. Uh, and uh, 
uh, call a hearing on uh, and, and, and present this on Monday or Tuesday, make the report. Kaya uh, ba We'll make the report. Anything else that you want to add, Lana? Uh, sabi niya na kay Congresswoman si Geraldine para alam niya niya. Kaya na ako uh, inahabaan na niya si Geraldine para alam niya yung hindi siya magugulat. Okay? Geraldine, okay nga is population ha? Ayun siya kung ano yung population. Diyan sa kanya natin pag-usama sa... Uh, alam mo, I will move forward. It's gonna be the hardest uh, two weeks because it's the last two weeks of Congress. May pa tayo tapos sa budget. So, I will now uh, conclude the uh, hearing of the BCDA uh, amendments and the SBA amendments. Do you have any other comments? Yeah, okay. you have any? Ami, you sure? Okay, yes. Sir, lad. yes, sir. We're, we already have some solutions. Uh, we've started talking with the... Uh, I would uh, suggest the you talk with Charlie time. Dominguez and, and, and tell, tell her intentions. You can use my name or yes, whatever is left of it. Yes, sir. Okay. Ihalong sa mga loob na yun, ha? Okay? Yes, Masayo naman yung kirikita niya, dapat... Pero mang mangihingi pa ako ng pera, na wala na nga yung equipment, ako pa magpapalit, dalhin pa dito, eh. may pera naman pala doon, ba't yung kukunin pa? Should have an exception. Give, the rule should be, those who produce, should be given more support. Hindi yung kukunin nyo kaagad yung kirikita nila, eh, wala rin mangyayari. Okay, on that note, I conclude this uh, hearing. I thank you all very much for your patience. I'm sorry I get long-winded sometimes because there's a lot of passion and a lot of history with this. Thank you very much. God bless.